Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. I've been grinding for so long, I wake up and chase my goals, I go out and I go get it. How to code, that's all I know, I don't succeed, then I don't breathe. Success, what does it mean? If I conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream. Dig deep, go out and get it. Success Chronicles, compete until it's finished. Success Chronicles, go take care of your business. Success Chronicles, it's deeper than just winning. Success Chronicles. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chip Baker coming to you with another episode of the Success Chronicles. Uh, excited to have Miss Arthur Thomas on with us uh, this eve. Uh, great lady doing some great things. I'm truly grateful to have her on. So first, thanks so much for taking the time to interview with the Success Chronicles. Thank you, Chip. I really appreciate the opportunity. Awesome. Awesome. Been looking forward to it. Well, Me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, let's dive into it. I know off air, but we talked a little bit about your amazing journey. Uh, some of the things that you've been blessed and fortunate to achieve uh, in your life. Uh, but if you don't mind, you know, sharing with the audience a little bit about, you know, who you are and, and, and what it is you do. Absolutely. So I am actually a former educator. I'll say a former K through 12 educator, I should yeah. say. That's how I started out my career. And I do come from a long line of educators. So I, I feel like we have that in common. <laughs> yes. Church um, folk. And educators yes. with no ads. Exactly. Folk. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yep. So definitely come from a long line of teachers. My father um, was also a pastor. You know, grandfathers were pastors, the whole nine yards. And so, you know, growing up, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do, but I knew what the family business was. <laughs> yes. So um, I did begin my career as a Spanish teacher in high school. And I decided that after a year of that, that wasn't quite the way that I wanted to teach or the demographic that I wanted to teach, you know, the, mm -hmm. the young kids at that time. So I went back to school. And then when I got out, I started working for the federal government. And that has been great because I have been able to teach in that way, doing like workshops. I'm a corporate trainer now, um, have been for several years. And I just enjoy that aspect of teaching. And um, let's see, what else can I tell you about me? Uh, I have two fabulous children. They are twins. 16 years old and they are rising seniors. So I am very proud of them. You know, we're sort of looking ahead to colleges and what they might like to do as they start spreading their wings and, yeah. you know, getting out, uh, you know, some semi on their own <laughs> for, uh, for college. You know, I don't want to push them out the door. Uh, Not quite. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, you know, but, um, but yeah, when I, when it really, I really came to the realization because I, I've been a single mom now for 11 years. Mm. And um, when I really started thinking about like, oh my gosh, okay. Um, I need right plan there. B. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start like uh, thinking about me, me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, not, not just uh, putting all my emphasis on my kids. So that was the beginning of a lot of introspection and a lot of thinking, you know, what would I really want to do? Like if I didn't have to do anything, mm -hmm. what would I want to do? You know, what could I sort of pour my energy into and, um, and share and serve? others. So that led to me creating my own business, which is Blue Monarch Communications. And I am using what I learned during my 20 plus year career to, um, you know, become a successful uh, government professional. And that is through executive presence. So I'm teaching others what it is that I use to have a successful career myself. So I'm really excited about that. Um, it's, it's something that I, you know, look, look forward to not only uh, as the plan B for, you know, when I become an empty nester, but mm -hmm. also even beyond re retirement because yeah, I'm, I'm mm, sort of getting close to that. <laughs> 
uh, in a sense, less than 10 years. So um, I'm just excited uh, to have something else that, um, that I can, I can really enjoy and focus on as well. That's good. I love it. Uh, always making the plans, right? Yes. <laughs> like, <"Ooh."> yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's good. Well, what are three things you've accomplished in your life that you're proud of? Well, I mentioned one of them already, which was raising my kids. I am very proud of my sons. I'm proud of the young men that they're becoming. I am proud of the the strides they are making and how they are sort of blossoming into really being their own individual selves. And I'm really proud of the relationships um, that I have with my children as well. So that would probably be uh, number one. And then in terms of a uh, second thing, it would be the courage to actually start this business because um, as you can see, I am a thinker and I am a planner and I like for everything to be just so. And entrepreneurship is not that. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. <laughs> no, not, not, not at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I am proud of yeah. the courage to step outside of the box. Ooh, and it, it takes lots of courage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So and it, it's uh it's it's a daily journey. <laughs> it's a daily journey. And then I would say also really the body of work um, that I have done as a part of my career, because not only does it feed the business, I'm, other, I'm able to pour into others as well. The lessons that I've learned at work, I share with my kids at home. I share with uh, my mentees, uh, folks who I mentor at, uh, at my job. So I'm really proud of that, that body of, of work and the lessons that were learned there um, because it, it, it's uh, paying forward, actually, mm. paying forward uh, dividends. I love that. That's so good. Well, I'm you know, just hearing you talk about your journey, the things that you've been blessed to achieve, the things that you're proud of. I would consider mm-hmm. all of that to be hugely successful. So let's, let's hit on success. What is your definition of success? I would say doing something that is meaningful and something that is um, going to pour into others and serve others. So success has to be more than inside yourself. It needs to be outside of yourself. It needs to be something bigger. And and that's how I define it. And, you know, how can you impact other people's lives? The things that I have learned that's taken me these 20 some odd years uh, to learn or or more, actually, because, you know, got a lot of life experience in there in addition to the work experience. Yes. I won't say how old I am, though. (laughs) Um, We'll just just say you have a lot of experience. Exactly. Exactly. Just gloss over that. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, But but being able to share that with others. And I'm really big on the relationships. Mm -hmm. So building those relationships, I think that is a huge part of of success as as well, because what good does it do you to have an inward focused definition of success and no one to share it with or pay it forward with? That and you said the, the magic R word relationships. Mm-hmm. And I, I, there's a quote that I heard that I always share when, when people say anything about relationships. I love sharing this quote by one of my former pastors. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pastor Danny Green was his name. But he said, uh, life moves at the speed of our relationships. Mm. Right. That's great. Yes. Oh, man. And, yes. and when I heard it, it gave me chills because it's so true. You know, basically, like you just described, you know, those people that are doing amazing things have great relationships in their lives. Mm -hmm. You know, those people that are struggling probably need uh, better relationships and people to look out for them uh, in their life. Right, right. They say it's lonely at the top. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Only if you let it be. (laughs) Only if you let it be. Yeah. Yeah. How how did you get to the top? That determines what type of relationships you have. 
uh, once you get there. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's lonely uh, at the top, and especially not if you're turning around and, you know, lending your hand to bring someone up um, with you. So. I love it. I love it. Well, I know um, that you're a plan. <laughs> you're a planner like you said uh, so seeing that you're a planner we're gonna go off script here okay oh yes okay so, so we'll get a, we'll get a little uncomfortable together uh -huh. right? all right so so what i'd like to do is you know based off of some of the things that we've discussed already uh, here mm -hmm. in the interview i'd like to throw out uh maybe three words or phrases to you and okay. when you hear those words or phrases if you don't mind just you know talking about you know, what comes to mind for you or, or heart for you when you okay. hear these words? You all good right. with that? I'm game. I'm game. Okay. All right. All right. Good deal. All right. So the, the first uh, words are living and learning. Hmm. Living and learning. Wow. Uh, when you stop learning, you stop living. You that. learn something new every day. And when you stop learning, when you stop, um, you know, seeking something, something um, new in terms of, of knowledge and something that you can internalize yeah. as well, you, you really, you really stop living. You're, you're stagnant. Mm. I, I, it's funny because I think about, so, you know, I mentioned retirement, right? Mm. Um my uh, former pastor used to say, you know, retirement is not biblical. <laughs> we don't retire. You know, we don't retire. You just move on to something else. It may not be that job that you worked at or that career that you had, which could have been several jobs, you know, over the course of 30 years or, or you know, whatever it was. But if you stop um, learning and you stop giving and you have more of an inward focus you're not really living I love that. that's good stuff well the second one the second one is influence and impact mm. well chuck uh, chip i read your book <laughs> the impact of influence volume three <laughs> women of impact and influence. And uh, I, I enjoyed the book. I enjoyed uh, several of the stories uh, in the book. And it was funny as I was preparing for this, when I finally sat down, I was like, okay, everything is ready. Oh man, I forgot the book. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had my little dog-eared pages and everything yeah. for, uh, for my favorite stories. But, um, you know, impact and influence is huge. You are always influencing someone, good or bad, whether you intend to or not, you are being an influence for someone. And the, the type of impact that you have on a person, you know, they say you're, you're most like the five people that you spend the most time with. You're having an influence and an impact on those folks, or they are having that influ influence and impact on you. So everyone has influence in their, their, their circle of, um, of friends or, or family or you know the folks that they touch in their career or in their community even. Everyone has impact and everyone has the ability to to uh, influence and, and impact. It's just what kind of influence is it and what kind of impact are you having on the people? So, you know, it doesn't take a being, you know, uh, say a Bill Gates, it doesn't take being some well-known actor. Uh, it doesn't take being, you know, uh, someone who's famous or even these influencers that we see on social media, you don't need that. The people that were, are within your sphere of, of influence, you are influencing them. So what kind of influence and impact do you want to make on the people that are in your circle? Ooh, that was good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> So good. All right. And so the last one uh, that I'll give to you, I want to pause a little bit because this is a good mm -hmm. one. So, uh -oh. so, so yeah, so get ready. Okay. 
All right, all right. Drum roll now. But the, <laughs> <laughs> the last one is legacy. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Legacy is huge. And legacy takes time. It takes planning if you want it to be a good one. And legacy is more than, oh, you know, I left my family $10 million or I left my family with, you know, all kinds of property or, or material things. Legacy is, is more than that. So when I look at my own life and for example, the, the legacy that my mom is leaving for me. So um, today is my mom's birthday and uh, she and I are very close and she is actually the, the reason why I started this business around executive presence, because that is what she modeled day in and day out from the time that I could barely speak. Uh, Uh, all throughout uh, my entire life. She modeled executive presence. She modeled what it meant to be a professional. She modeled, um, you know, what it takes to to, uh, reach the levels of success that you desire. She modeled all of that for me. And such to the fact that I just thought it was normal. You know, (laughs) I I grew grew up, I grew up in that environment and did not recognize or have the words to describe what that was, Um, or or rather, rather to name it. I could certainly describe it, but I couldn't name it. Um, But that's part of, of the legacy that she's leaving me. Another part of the legacy that she's leaving me is, um, you know, motherhood and, Being a great uh, mother, having those relationships with your children such that, you know, as as, uh, time progresses and they mature and they start to want to sort of, as I said earlier, spread their wings, Um, you know, taking just a little step back so that they can come forward, uh, if you will. And that's really hard. (laughs) That's really hard. Um, but the legacy of relationships, the legacy of how you show up in the world, the legacy of how you treat people, the legacy of, of how you steward what it is that you have so that there can be a legacy so that you can, um, you know, do, do the things that are going to provide opportunities for, you know, yourself, your family, your children, in order to give them sort of that broad landscape to be like, okay, you know, I, I liked this. I didn't like that. I think I want to pursue this. That's legacy, you know, giving people uh, opportunities, giving them choices what you decide to do, what it is that you are called to do and deciding to answer that call, hello. (laughs) That is impacting not only your legacy, it's impacting the other people's legacy as well. Those that you are serving, those that you are, you have that circle of influence uh, with, you know, what is it that you have that you can share with them what can you teach them? What aha moments can you can you um, uh, be the catalyst for for those folks? That is creating legacy because you are you you are touching that person's life, and then there's ripple effect. So what you did for this person. They're going to take that and be like, Ooh, you know what? I can help this person and so on and so on. It's like that Willa Balsam commercial from back in the seventies or or early (laughs) eighties, you know? um, But yeah, it's legacy is huge. Legacy is huge. So good. 
Good stuff. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I'll tell this funny about myself. I normally take notes, and I, and I warned you before we started mm-hmm. that I, you know, I'm a note taker. But right. that was so good, I couldn't even, I couldn't even get <laughs> notes. I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch this just so I can take notes. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, but uh, in closing, before we get off, if you don't mind uh, sharing mm-hmm. with the audience where they can go follow you and check you out and show you some love with all of the amazing things you have going on. Absolutely. Well, I would love for folks to uh, find me on my website, which is bluemonarchspeaks.com. That's bluemonarchspeaks.com. I am also on Instagram at Blue Monarch Speaks, on Facebook at Blue Monarch Speaks, and I'm also on LinkedIn under my name, which is Arva Thomas. So I would love to connect with folks in that way. And, you know, just see what, what, what kind of synergies there are and what is it that I can do to help you reach your goals so that you can help someone else to reach theirs. Awesome. 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 Well, again, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to interview with the success Chronicles truly appreciate it. And I wish you continued success. Thank you so much. All right. Well, thank you guys for checking out this episode. We'll see you next time. God bless. Go get it.